to another um, fitness journey getting back into my fitness journey video number 12 um keep watching as you see what i've been going through over the last few weeks and by that i will let you get to watching this video and i'll see you all at the end for the summary So today I hope we're all having a wonderful day so far. So it's officially hump day and it's also officially a brand new day. So um, I'm doing a lot of things today, which is editing. I have a lot of videos to record today. So I am getting my mindset right for today and I'm restarting my um, fun road five day challenge because I've been stuck on day two for a while now and um, I just want to rewrite things and start a new fresher today. So day one, I'm restarting you today out of, you know, positivity, um, new confidence and to be able to get my mindset properly for the whole day so this is going to be posted on all my socials including my youtube channel um i want to let you all know as well that um uh, my tasting food the stoves and cooking food the stoves videos are going to be extremely late only because half of them or well, all of them have not really been recorded edited and so forth so you will be getting two um, health blogs uh, that were that were recorded within a week or two of each other that you will be getting um, any other videos posted as well and other than that you know that is exactly what we're going to be doing today I know by the end of the day I'm gonna be really really tired and exhausted but I want to say that I'm very blessed I have a brand new heater that is keeping my room nice and warm. I have um, amazing tools that I'm doing, which is excellent and exactly what we should be doing. 
and other than that i hope you all have a great day i'm just going to organize things i'm going to try and edit as much as i possibly can over the next few days but videos will be late as a bit of a little note to you know the studio but other than that i love you all have a great day you know be safe you know still wash your hands and all of that goodness but other than that i'm gonna go and i'll catch you all soon <laughs>
would love to go into a happy and positive directions with everything I just said financially, socially, physically and emotionally. Now, as we continue, we do what we need to do to reset our mindset. So every day, every every morning with your road trip anthem, set, set it as your alarm in the morning and jam it out and i also chucked in even listening to it for an extra hour hour for an extra boost of motivation so cass's album is or anthem is isn't she lovely which is very true i think we can all sing to this and it's i think it was an 80s hit and it still is to the current day so my anthems currently are Demi Lovato, Confident, which has always made me feel amazing and energized. Um, currently, it is Sam Smith and Demi Lovato's I'm Ready, which is a powerful music song. And um, Ariel Versace, um, I think I pronounced the name right, I found this didn't. Um, Joystick and plenty more as well. And this is something that I want us to say as well as I'm doing these videos after, you know, my little, you know, writing and then doing things and come back and just reread it as I go along. Hey, I can do this. I can try something new and be excited for the day. This is my life. Um, and I am a music freak, which is true. Music changes me day by day which is an amazing thing to do. So I'm restarting these to, you know, take more accountability and for myself. Um, if you want to do this five day challenge, um, again, all of, um, all of Cass's and all of Steve and including their page together, I'll also um, put that into the video. But other than that, I love you all. Let's all have a great day and it's Wednesday, so it's hump day. But other than that, I'm going to go and do things I need to do. Love you all. So, I hope we're all having a semi great Thursday. I currently don't feel well, and that's why I've been up most of you know tonight. So, I'm just sitting here watching YouTube, doing some beauty stuff because um, 
it keeps me very very distracted and to try and tire me out properly so every time when I lay down I don't feel well so I'm just sitting here doing beauty stuff like I just said and I'm watching YouTube so this is what I'm watching Jennings pretty cool TikTok pretty cool youtuber as well so I'm just sitting here chilling and just relaxing because that's more important but anyway I love you all I may not be up today but um take it easy no more coffee and no more ready shitty noodles been up since um since like yesterday and i haven't really slept so um i did this to you know be on time to be able to you know um kind of sort of is what is with this challenge today so day two is about passionate um passenger pity party step forward with action active action so, um, passion active process, which leave the passenger pity party of your life and re-engage as the driver of your life. Um, um, learn how to pro prioritize your happiness and joy during difficult times like with what we're going through at the moment with COVID-19, um, shift your focus and make time for the things you love doing. So as an example, YouTube, um, music, um, doing things that I love to do either with my mum or even just to do really, really cool and fun things. Um, stop using the excuses and stop playing the blame game which is very very true i've been doing this for years um realize that you're in control which i am um you can grab that um spiraling um uh, wheel back and get in the driver's seat and say this is where i want to go which is very very true it's just a bad let let me say that again because i i just I, I just did this part wrong it's just a moment stop breathe and continue your day so that's basically what I've been doing because I'm actually not well at the moment and I have been 
you know, going through my PTSD symptoms when, you know, when I was a child, when my dad was actually abusing me, you know, he used to feed us um, coals, bread, um, noodles, which I did eat yesterday, and for some reason, that also triggered a PTSD mini attack, which I've been up with all night, and also, it could be also because of a coffee that's that I had yesterday that does make my tummy very upset. But it doesn't have to define me and the rest of my day, which is very, very true. Focus all on the good things that happen and the other one focus on all the bad. They feel completely different by the end of the day. Very, very, very true. If you are looking for opportunities for growth, ways to improve more time in the days to go um well to do actually the things that you really enjoy again youtube working on my mind mindfulness and you know just trying to keep busy during the day and not having to think of the worst all the time bad moments happen recognize them as just as moments in your life that doesn't define you you always be able to move past them very true is what i've been going through with all my therapy with all my past trauma with you know being really heavily abused being neglected going through really bad bullying and also being assaulted as well and um i'm slowly slowly moving past them which is an amazing direction when you start to shift your focus and when makes things well basically when it makes things tweaks to our lives together it will make such a big impact on our lives and especially my life which is exactly why i really wanted to do this challenge in the first place because it works on your mindfulness your mindset and continuing so part one of part of this challenge that i'm doing starting to recognize your excuses what excuses do you invite to your pity party so sometimes it's conflict with friends and family food because i do depend on my mum a lot and i don't want to really cook i'm not wanting to do anything and that's very very true and thinking too much now i overthink things a lot just like how i wasn't going to do this today but i said to myself no you've been working on this for a while it's time to move forward and try to think of good things recognize when you're using those excuses and say stop it i'm not using this lame excuse anymore and i put lame in because i am the one in control here absolutely i feel better to saying it and doing this activity is actually really really helping me at the moment so part two more more is well basically the move is to slap it out and shake it off so basically like a little tap shake it off and continue with your day give yourself a little slap in the face that you need to get out of your pity party definitely very true or you can walk away go put water on your face breathe until you feel like you calm down come back get straight into it stand up you can shake it off to shift the energy in your body very true just, just like i did recognize it tell it to bugger off get on with what you have to do for the day which is exactly what i'm going to be doing had a rough moment shake it off it was a bad moment you can do it which is this is one of the things that i added into my notes if you mess up accept the failure as just a part just as a part of learning process and big part of growing and just just shake it off you are not the th the things that you feel 
like anxiety, stress, sadness, you know, even if you feel alone, if you feel worthless, you know, these are moments in life and ultimately it's all in your control. Very, very true. Um, as you know, all know, if you do watch my YouTube channel, you know, I've been going through nearly a nine year recovery battle. It's been full of great ups, bad downs, but I am worth fighting for and I know that. Um, connection of the mind and, well, body and mind. When you shake things off, your body thinks, okay, this stress I'm holding on to is not a big deal. I don't have to hold on to it anymore. Very true, you know, it has taken me years just to get over things in the past and sometimes it is so hard to move on, which is true because you blame that person. But in the end, you know, you are in control of, you know, your life and what you really truly want to do and that's the point on why I'm doing this fun road five day challenge and hopefully I can do the six week challenge which I really truly want to do. When you stop holding holding a pity party, you can hold a actual party for the person who really deserves you. Very true. That's why what I want to do next year is for my 10 years next year, I want to do a little party, close friends, close family. I'm going to do a really cool game night and we're going to acknowledge um, all the amazing achievements that I have done so far and continue celebrating the ups more than the downs. So, remember to slap it out. So, little slap or go put some water and go out and breathe and shake it off. Absolutely. Definitely agree. Um, I'm so sorry that, you know, I spent too many days on, you know, um, the pity party. You know, I really like to really, really fully work on it. And I've been spending nearly a week on this, which is actually a really great way to really, you know, trust yourself and say, okay, no more, get up and do it. And as you can see by my voice, you know, I have not been well, but I got up showed up shake it off and i did the work which is excellent now i'll see you all tomorrow from day three because i actually have not done that yet and i'll see you all in tomorrow's video
Um, so we're now officially at the end of the video. Just want to let you all know that I actually have notes here due to the fact that um, I'm actually recording this nearly four weeks after when this video was originally all recorded and when all of the things you've saw I've gone through. So I have notes here and um, we'll talk a bit more towards the end. So Monday, as you saw that I um, did my five day um, challenge, which was day two passenger pity party. And I ate something that day. So Tuesday, played around with my sat chat filters and cleaned my room and did floors. Wednesday, um, I killed a spider. That was fun. And legit, it dropped right in front of me as I was on the toilet and it scared the crap out of me. And I was on the toilet, which was coincidence, right? I watched YouTube, organized music album reviews number 19, um, and their track art and their thumbnails. Tuesday, I mostly annoyed the crap out of my mum. Watched YouTube, stand and listen to music. Friday, watched YouTube in game. Saturday um, was Anzac Day here in Australia and due to COVID-19, um, we decided to do it from our driveway. There was only probably um, my mum, my next door neighbor and another doors down that were actually outside doing the dawn service, which pretty, you know, gutted me when I saw that, but mum and I were so proud to do dawn service it made me really happy because we represented our family i um, watched youtube um organized some more music album reviews um singing covers and also cleaned the dishes that day and let's go over so sunday had a self-care day um that sunday actually was um was six months when Squeak passed away and it still doesn't feel real that she's gone and we felt really 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 sad that day but we know that Squeak's with us because she makes the cats go you know a bit skittish and we know that she's with us and we know that so Monday filmed a tasting food with Sos um sorted and organized my counseling because i had counseling the very next day mainly watched youtube chilled and i just relaxed before the next day so the next day my counseling session went great always felt better afterwards and just had a self-care day wednesday watch youtube restarted my five-day challenge again and this is when I started to post it on Instagram and I decided to edit, had noodles, pasta which I didn't even get to finish eating because I felt physically sick after when I ended a five year or even longer friendship that sort of was that I still don't know about. Um, this is when I found out probably two weeks after that he actually had a kid, which I felt disgusted by because things were going on. And even though I asked him, are you in a relationship? He said no. And I felt a bit jipped from him. So that's why I did post a don't be a dick um, in this particular video. And due to that, I was up all night sick to my stomach and if I lay down I would have puked basically so Thursday continuing on I felt sick all night I had Herbalife to help my tummy which always helps um, I also realized that I was having a PTSD attack because the noodles that I had um, that particular day was a um, noodle that I had when I was a kid and my father used to feed us noodles when we were at his place and that was also something that sucked but I got through it I did muck around on TikTok and I've been on TikTok for a while now like at this point over two months and it's not bad if you're bored 
other than that you know I did my day two of my five day challenge even though I didn't really felt well at all and by this point I haven't slept for two days but finally I did eat something Friday I had a lot of self-care catching up on sleep because I didn't sleep for the previous night um, the Saturday I did do a vision board for May <laughs> failed and I just watched Stan um, Sunday um, eight watched all of the new Ripple episodes which are pretty cool play some games watch some YouTube did make three meals in one day that I felt so accomplished but also fell apart as well um, when I get sick I don't eat because I feel like I'm going to spew and um, that's just been a natural fear that I have been having for you know since I was a child and um, it really sucked you know the five-day challenge that I well at the time was on um, it really helped me you know self-pity party is the true thing that I go for a lot and um, it sucked um eating again up and down bad sleeping patterns and it sucked so another re reminder you know i'm doing i'm recording this video as it was four weeks after the fact of this two week um blog um point of view and um it's because i've been going for a lot all of um may so if you go check out all of may's um health blog videos so blog i think nine and ten so go check them out to see what was really happening those weeks but um yeah kind of sucks but that's okay i'm learning i'm growing and um hopefully once i've sorted out whatever is happening with me it will all be okay but anyway thank you so much for joining me for this video all of my socials youtube um youtube series and my website links are all down below the music that was played throughout this video of course will be straight after this particular um this particular video and go check out my end card where you can see a recent upload and any of my health blog series or of my um fitness journey series but other than that, thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you next time.